Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we'll be reviewing the 2010 Transformers Prime Legends Bumblebee. And Cyberverse Windblade. I just wanted to knock these legends out because I got a bunch more figures. But first we're going to take off this weapon we were using for a weapon for this figure. And this figure is really well painted from a 2010 Transformers Prime figure. Got visible head, head syndrome with Bumblebee's head. And visible robot mode leg syndrome and arm syndrome. You ask it, does it roll? Very well. But now we're gonna transform him. Very simply, pull out the arms like so. If I can get him to work. Sometimes he's a bit tight and I pop his arms loose. I didn't pop his arms loose this time, what do you know? Pop out the head, make sure it clicks. Fold down the feet, split the legs. And here we got 2010. Bumblebee in his robot mode. This weapon, I have this from an extra rook from Final Faction. So as of right now, I'm just using it as a, can a main weapon for my Bumblebee because I don't have his original weapon here. But he can hold this and go pew pew, bang bang, pew bang bang. He can hold it in this hand as well. Well, maybe not because there's no peg for it. On this figure otherwise a good-looking bumblebee if I do say so myself now we're gonna get out this bin of Transformers Prime we're get down to some comparisons here another Beast Hunters bumblebee why not this is like the spiky bumblebee former's legacy prime RC, just because that's a good comparison. Beast Hunters Prowl, a remold of Smokescreen and Knockout. Why not? Leader Optimus Prime. The weaponizer one, if I can get this stand without the weapons popping loose. But yeah, he's smaller than Optimus Prime. Why not? He's Optimus Prime, and he's smaller than Prime. Next comparison. Here we got Transformers Prime Wheeljack next to Bumblebee. Why not? There I say, why not? Little Legends Transformers Prime Cyberverse. RC. Not a bad comparison for Legend Scale. Beast Hunter's Bulkhead, because I like Bulkhead. And I don't have a regular Bulkhead, and this is inspired by the Roadbuster color scheme. Get him to stand, not a bad comparison. Of course, we got Beast Hunter's Huffer. Here's Beast Hunter's Huffer, not bad comparison. Beast Hunters Trailbreaker. And how many of these Transformers Prime Autobots do I have this year? We're going to get down to a count to see how many I own this year. Optimus Prime, this makes five. Yep. Transformers Prime so, Legacy RC. Okay, here's Legends RC. That makes about seven. Prowl makes eight. So in total, we own eight Transformers Prime Autobots this year. Will I try to pick up any more? Definitely. If I find any more of them, I'm going to pick them up. But for now, I got all these bots, 11 of them. 
And now we're gonna look at our last figure before we end this video. Is our Transformer Cyberverse Legends Windblade. Nice looking jet mode. Visible head and arm and torso syndrome and leg syndrome. But from the top, she does look pretty good in general. She does slide a little bit, but other than that, that's about it. But now we're going to transform her into a robot mode. Just very simple. Ship these up. Flip the nose cone back. Split the legs. And here we got Transformers Robots in Disguise. Legends. Windblade. Oh, yeah. She's backed by popular demand. This is the second one of Windblade I own. I own two of Windblade. Can we give her this sword and she'll hold it? Oh, yeah. She can hold this sword I've had from a knockoff Power Ranger and hold a sword and be like, take this Decepticon slash. And not a bad looking figure. I think this line came out in 2016, if I have to guess. If I'm wrong, then leave me a comment. But otherwise, that's my entire toy haul from the Monroeville Exchange as of this year. I own quite a few Transformers Prime figures and Cyberverse. So we will be doing more Cyberverse figures on the channel. Because when I went to the... To the uh, Goodwill outlet... I got Deluxe Class Cyberverse, Build-A-Figure Bumblebee, for only 60 bucks for the entire load of toys I got from them. Sorry you didn't get a chance to see that video. I forgot to record on the outside and show off the cartload on the out inside. I will try to show off my next toy haul, which will be going to the Monroeville Still City Con. But if you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Before we move on, we're going to be doing, starting Sunday, this playset, which is going to be on my temporary TMNT Ninja Turtles Base of Operations hidden for next Sunday, followed by this talking turtle from... 2012 Leonardo Talking Turtle. And the Rise of Ninja Turtles Leonardo. So yeah, this is what's up for next week. Some TMNT figures. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.